You guys, I have been buying and hoarding Disney pins for months. And I'm finally ready to show you these so I can put them on my boards. Hey guys, welcome back to my collector's channel. My name is Laura and I collect pretty much everything. From Disney pins, to Disney plushes, to Tokidoki, to Sanrio, designer toys, you name it, I probably collect it. And in today's video, you're going to notice that my tongue is orange because I had candy right before filming this. So I do apologize for that. But you're also going to see me do a epic Disney pin haul because I have been slowly purchasing pins over the last couple of months and just putting them in this box to show you guys in a video. And I'm finally ready to get them out because it's Halloween time and most of these are Nightmare Before Christmas and I need to add them to my collection so I need to get them out of this box in front of you so I can get them up on the board. So without further ado, let's get going. Most of these pins are Nightmare Before Christmas but I do believe there are a few Muppet pins because those are my two main collections as of right now. They're the only things I'm actually buying pins for and the majority is really just Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I used to have a lot of other collections but I've really downsized over the years and I mostly just focus Focus on Nightmare Before Christmas and then also like I said uh, side Muppet pins and there's a few that have come out just like really recently of Muppet pins that I have not gotten yet that I really want to but I gotta slow my roll on buying pins okay so now come on I want to I want to I haven't even really looked at any of these since they came in I just kind of put them in the box I knew I want to do a video and so now I'm really ready to like take a good look at them and I'm just so so excited so all right, let's get going. Okay, so the first one is part of the I Collect series, which are these little pins that are like, supposed to be like pin bags of like what you collect. They have like a little string right here. I'll show you a closer look in a minute. And you get kind of like a little peek through a Mickey head here. And this one is I Collect NBC pins. So that was perfect because it's our main collection. Um, and then when you open it, the backs are off this one. So I forgot about that. It shows you like little examples of pins that you would collect if you collected NBC pins. So it's like very meta. So let me show you a closer look. There's a little bit of glare from the light, but there is the front part. And then this is what you see when you open it. So I love this. I think it's so cute. The only thing I hate is you don't really want to keep it open when it's on your pin board, which kind of sucks because you kind of miss some of these really cute things in here. Um, but I really like this one a lot and I love that they did this like I collect because I was afraid they wouldn't but it is a pretty popular thing to collect and so I really really love this one so much and I was so excited to get it. Okay so this next one is um it's actually in a package I'm gonna pull it out while I talk to you. This next one was a um new OE that came out on the website and so when I was ordering some other stuff I went ahead and grabbed it. So this is a jack head that actually has Sally here and Jack here inside the two eyes and it's actually two separate pins. So I'm gonna take it off the um here, I'll show you closer. You see Jack and Sally in the two eyes, and then I'm gonna take it off so you can see them separate. Okay, these are actually pretty heavy. So here's the two separate pieces. So you can display them together, which I'll... I did not know there's a magnet between them. So that is really cool. I hate that everything's reflecting off my light. But yeah, there's a magnet that like holds them together. That is actually really cool. So that is exciting. Um, I will probably display them together, but I like that you can do them separately if you want. Okay, so this next one is a really old one that we got as like an anniversary gift for Aaron and I, because it was a little on the pricey side because it's like a rarer pin, but I love this pin so much. All right, I just, I have to show you. So this is Oogie Boogie and Jack with like their backs together, um, kind of giving you that like 90s, like white wrapper, like, <laughs> I love this so much. I think it is so funny to see them both like season, what does it say? Season screamings and they're like, yeah, like they're like all like hard. Um, I just think this is so funny and Aaron, my husband, loves this so much. So we had to get this one. All right, so this next one was another one I bought off the website. It's another limited edition and is part of one of this year's series, which were like cereal boxes. And so this is Oogie's Boogies. So it's like a cereal box and it has like a little dangly thing. So this one has his dice and it's another one of those that you open up and it's supposed to have like cereal, which I think his are bats. Um, cause isn't that like what's inside of him or no, I guess worms are inside of him. But yeah, so it says Oogie's Boogies, frightfully yum, surprise inside box. And it like essential pumpkin spice. What else does that say? 106 of spooky spears, I think filled with 
bugs and grubs. So let me give you a closer look. So that's what it looks like on the front and then you open it and it's like cereal. And this little dangly. So I really like this. I think it's cute and funny and I love me some Oogie Boogie stuff. Okay, so I have two more Nightmare pins before we get into the Muppet pins. There's actually more Muppet pins than I realized. Um, so this one, I think it's just like an old OE that we just didn't already have. And it's Jack and Sally in front of like a tombstone. So there is a closer look. Um, Aaron and I love anything that has Jack and Sally together because we always call ourselves Jack and Sally. Like we love them so much. It's our favorite movie ever. And so yeah, so anytime we see Jack and Sally together, we always want to get it. Okay, so this next pin I really love because I love the way it looks, although it makes me a little sad. I'll explain why in a second. So this says the spell is cast. And it is a oogie boogie like tree thing for California Adventure, and it is because of the um, <laughs> Falcor snore. It is for the event, the oogie boogie like Halloween event. And I'm sad about this because this is the first year that it was. It was the first year we weren't there for Halloween after being there like for Halloween for years and years. So. We're really sad to miss this, especially because we love Oogie Boogie and that it was like that theme in California Adventure would have been so much fun. But I love this pin. I think it's really pretty to see this like spooky Halloween tree with Oogie Boogie in it. So let me give you a closer look. So isn't that really cool? I love that design so much. I wonder if it glows in the dark. A lot of these Nightmare Before Christmas pins actually glow in the dark. I'm not sure if this one does. But hopefully Aaron and I will be moving back to California in the next couple of years and we'll be able to go to many of the future Oogie Boogie bashes in California Adventure, but I love this pin so much. And so I was really excited to be able to buy it off someone. All right, so that was it for all the Nightmare Before Christmas pins. So now I do have a few um, Muppet pins to show you that I got. Muppets is not as common of a um, collecting, like, um, like a collection that people have. So if you collect any Muppet pins, comment down below, let me know if you know anyone, because I'd just be curious to know. So here's this first one I bought off someone off of a Facebook group. And this just is for the ride that I've never been on in Disney World, but it was really cheap and it has um, Kermit and Piggy and Fozzie on it. So I wanted to go ahead and get it. So here it is, let me show you a closer look. So I really like this. I don't know if this ride still exists. Um, if it does, I would like to get down there. Um, we're hoping to maybe go down there next year if COVID is not running rampant. Um, I really hope I didn't miss this ride. So if you know if this ride is still available, comment down below and let me know because I'm really curious. Okay, this next one is really, really old, um, but this is the President's Day pin. The President's Day and like those weird holidays tend to get a lot of Muppets for them. So this is Gonzo. Um, I am excited for this though because we're about to have election time, which I'm really excited for. So this is giving me that vibe for President's Day. So let me give you a closer look. Love me some Gonzo for president. And to be honest, he'd probably be a better president than the current one we have. But um bum <laughs> So yeah, so there's some Gonzo. I'm not really sure who my favorite, well, I kind of know who my favorite Muppet is. It's Rizzo, the rat. But if we're talking like the main ones, I mean, I guess it would be Miss Piggy. Um, Gonzo's cool, but he's also kind of weird. Cause like, what's the deal with Camilla, right? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Okay, so this next one is another one of the series that was this year, and this was the Scratch and Sniff pins, which frankly is a little weird, and I haven't even scratched this one yet, so let me see if it actually... Oh my god, that is so strong, that is so weird. Okay, so this is very appealing, and it's got Fozzie, and it smells like bananas, and I just scratched that banana, you guys, and it super smells like banana, which is really weird. So there is a close-up of it. I think this one is cute and very strange, but I'm excited to add it to my collection. All right, two more Muppet pins. This one is a new OE, and I think it's for the new Muppets show that is on Disney+, Plus, which is a little strange. Aaron and I watched the first, I think, two episodes. It's very interesting. If you haven't checked it out and you like the Muppets, check it out. It's like very like social media e 2020 Muppets. It's interesting. Like they all have like YouTube channels or something. I don't know. But I really like this because it has Gonzo and Animal and Piggy and um, Kermit and Fozzie. So I like that it has so many of them. And then this last one was, um, there was just an anniversary. I wonder if it says it on this. D23 anniversary maybe? Some sort of Disney anniversary where they did like these special pins for it and one of them was this Kermit pin which we've seen in different variations but this is like a silver or like gold plated one but it's of Kermit playing the guitar. Let's see if you can see that without my light. Um, but like it was sold as a set and then someone was like, there we go, selling the individual pieces. So I went ahead and grabbed the Kermit. I think this one is really pretty. 
um, this sort of like monochromatic and then just the white down here because I do love Kermit and I especially love the um, songs from the Muppets so I was really excited to get this. All right guys, so that is all that I had in my Disney pin haul. So if I had to pick my favorites of each um, kind, I think my favorite um, Muppet one was probably this shiny Kermit. I just really like this a lot. I think it's really pretty and kind of classy looking. And I think my favorite um, Nightmare Before Christmas is this one of Oogie Boogie and Jack because this pose is just really funny to me and I love that it says Season Screaming. So what about you guys? Which one was your favorite Muppet pin and which one was your favorite Nightmare Before Christmas pin? Comment down below, let me know. And also, do you collect Disney pins? If so, what are your collections? Do you collect either one of these or something else? Maybe you collect Cinderella or Seven Dwarfs. Comment down below, let me know. I love to hear all about Disney pin trading. I love it and I miss it so much. And I was so excited to share this with you and I can't wait to share more hopefully in the future. So if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that this is some good content that somebody else might also enjoy and if you're not already subscribed and you like all things Disney, Sanrio, Tokidoki Toys, Care Bears, you name it, I collect it. If you want to see it hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. I do post every Wednesday and I will see you guys next Wednesday in my video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!